Along with Cheryl Miller and Julie Bragg, we have complete coverage from this storm. Melissa Hippolyte will take us to Whitestone in the northern neck where one tornado touched down. But first, we want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Zach Daniels, who joins us live from Storm Rider 6 in Cortland, Southampton County, where another tornado touched down. Zach? Yeah, Bree, no question about it either. This was definitely a tornado. And again, we are right on Route 58, about 15 miles north of the Virginia North Carolina line. I want to show you the extent of the damage that we have here. And first off, we're going to look over here at this building. This was a U-Haul building. The way it looks right now, it's kind of hard to tell with everything thrown around, but the roof has been completely ripped off over there. The damage is extensive beyond this as well, down another quarter of a mile or so. And when you look over here, you see a lot of damage with trees down and, and trees uh, twisted off. But when you see this kind of damage, where you've got an actual two to three ton vehicle, and in some cases, almost a 10 ton truck or van back there that's just been flipped around like a toy, that's an indication of some serious wind. It looks like this is gonna be probably low end EF2 damage. You see the tops of these trees back here in the distance. They've been twisted off anywhere from 10 feet off the ground to about 60 feet off the ground. No question at all, this is tornado damage and a significant tornado as well. Lots of damage here. Folks going up and down Route 58 and they're slowing down because they want to take a look at the devastation that this has caused this morning. Again, this was very early this morning, hitting at a very tough time when most folks were asleep, only about two to three o'clock in the morning. And this was the same part of the storm, those initial bands that moved through and spread damage through parts of the Middle Peninsula and Northern Neck. This was one of at least five tornadoes confirmed and the Weather Service will be coming out and surveying all of these beginning tomorrow to tell us the tracks of these storms and the intensity of these storms as well. This is not the only place impacted again, at least five tornadoes today. Another area cleaning up the damage this afternoon is up in the northern neck and particularly around Whitestone and Kilmarnock. A couple small towns hit very hard early this morning. Melissa hiplet has been out there all day long and she's reporting on the tornado damage and she joins us live right now. Melissa. Hey, Zach. Yeah, we are.